Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi 9 and today I will show you how to enable and set up the do not disturb mode. And to get started let's pull down the notification panel and find the toggle which looks like for me it's on the second page, the DND right over here. So you want to hold it, this will take you to the settings where you can customize how it works. Now at the moment it's set to regular which is basically meaning that it's disabled, then you have silent and actually do not disturb mode. Once you select the DND it will turn on automatically as you can see right over here now. And uh, once you select it to be on actually you can then edit the settings. So you have allow incoming calls and it looks like by default it's set to uh, none so it will block everybody but you can change it if you want to for or to allow calls from anyone, contacts only, or favorite contacts. So choose whichever one you want. Then, no matter what the setting right here is for the calls, you also have this check right here, so notify me about repeated callers. So, uh, if someone calls you twice within a 15 minute period, no matter what the setting here is, you will be notified that someone is trying to reach you if you have this on. And this is a good setting in terms of, uh, in case of emergency. So if someone really needs to get a hold of you, uh, you can still get a notification about that. Uh, then we have restrict floating notifications, so you won't be getting any kind of banners or anything like that from notifications. Uh, if you want to get some kind of pop-ups about, uh, for instance, messages uh, that you have received or something like that, then disable this. Uh, then you have schedule to uh, turn on time. And this, this section right here will allow you to add your personal uh, basically schedule to do not disturb mode. So, you won't actually have to turn it on or off yourself. It will, the phone will be doing it automatically for you. And all you do is tap on the plus. Uh, you can change the name or keep it as it is. Then we have days of the week. So uh, you can go for instance to custom, select each day of the week that you want it to work in. And then for that each day of the week, you will have um, for the all, well, all the selected days of the week that you have chosen, you will have the start time and end time. So choose whichever one you want and then silent or silent mode. Uh, so I'll go with the DND because it's the one that we can actually customize. From there tap on the check mark. It automatically will then become enabled uh, as you can see right here. And then once the time reaches it will turn on and once again it reaches the specified time it will turn off. So that is the automatic and the manual you can just simply tap on it, toggle it on and off at your will. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.